Psalm 111, in verse number 9, the Bible reads, He sent redemption unto His people. He hath commanded His covenant forever. Holy and reverend is His name. Again, just saying that the, the name of the Lord is holy. You know what? When the name of the Lord is holy, it is something that you should show honor to and dignity and respect and it's not something that you just throw around. That's why one of the Ten Commandments, you know, is not to use the name of the Lord in vain. Why? Because the name of the Lord is holy. God's name is holy. It's not something just to be thrown out as a cuss word, right? People get mad at something. What do they say? They go, you know, Jesus Christ. And they'll just name the name of our Savior, the name, the name of our God, because they hurt themselves, they've hurt their finger, they've stubbed their toe, and they just, they just blaspheme the name of Christ by just calling out on his name just without any real intention. We're supposed to reserve the name of God and the name of Jesus to, to, for times when you are speaking to God, for times when you are specifically have a request and you want to call to God. You know, when people say, how about this? Oh, my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, in daily life, oh my God. Are you really caring or considering God at all in your statement when you just make that statement, just go, oh my God? Seriously, think about it. Now, I know we're talking about God being holy as an attribute, but just real quick on, on using the name of the Lord in vain, when you're calling out, you know what vain means? Vain means it's meaningless. Vain means it's empty. Vain means there's no reason to be using that expression to be calling on God if you're not actually calling to Him. You know, you'll find in the Psalms, you'll find the phrase, oh my God. But you know what it's in, in reference to and being used as? It's David or whoever the psalmist is going, oh my God, please help me. And he's speaking to God. So there's nothing wrong with the phrase, oh my God, when you're talking to God. There's nothing wrong with using the name of Jesus Christ when you're talking to or about Jesus Christ. But you know what we don't want to do is just get in these habits that the world has, the God-rejecting world of just throwing around these names as if they're meaningless, as if they're not holy, if they, as if they shouldn't be set apart and given regard and given reverence to. The Bible says in Psalm 111, 9 there, holy and reverend is his name. God's name is reverend. You know, this is also another reason why we don't call the pastors or the preachers reverend. We call our preachers, we call them pastors or bishops, whatever the you know, Bible terms. You can use the word minister because they're ministers of God's word. They're serving people, right? Those are all appropriate terms to use. We do not use father because the Bible, as Jesus said, to call no man on earth your father. We don't call him master or rabbi. And we don't call him reverend. Because God's name is reverend, not some man behind a pulpit. I'm not going to go and try to equate myself as being, oh, reverend this and reverend that. I understand there's people who make honest mistakes. Some people have grown up in different churches and, and, and churches that use wrong terms. But I always will correct people on that. And you should, too. If you, when you hear people just, you know, saying, oh, reverend this, you know, you could politely and gently inform them, but let them know, you know, God's name is reverend. We don't, we don't call men reverend, just like we're not calling them father and we're not, you know, that's reserved for God and God is a holy God.